Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is 30 to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please make sure to follow our T for Transit. It's right there. Um, but this is the end of the year. The last reading, 30 to the 31st for 2018. Okay. I feel like <laughs> also dramatic. The last three. It's like, yeah, you're just going to do the January after that. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go though, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from my Aries, 30 to the 31st. Here we go. Closing it with a bang, Hierophant energy over here. Okay. You're, you could just be closing the year feeling committed or you're in a commitment already. Congratulations. Um, you can be dating someone because it's fifth house for me. You're dating someone and you guys are about to make this connection um, known, you know, meaning um, to be broadcast. Okay, we're exclusive. Okay, we're together. Making it official, basically. Okay. Let's see the other person here. Official. You got a ten of pentacles. This can be you or the other person that you're uh, dealing with. Can be working for the government as the Hierophant is. Um, government, it's also reflective of society. Okay, 10th house meaning here. If it's your work, Aries, you're gonna be amazing at it. Okay, you're gonna be stable, you're feeling secure. You probably will get offer about, hey, you want to be permanent, you know, in the in the job. Because this, this is that kind of energy. Like, you, you know, if you were just trying out for a new job, now you're permanent or you're finding a new job. If you relocate, because this is, I feel like you will have to travel and then you get a job that is gonna be very successful for you. But this is going to be in the forefront. Now, in the relationship that you're dealing with, they're in the same page as you are. Commitment, Ten of Pentacles, being together in the same roof. Um, this is the long and lasting love for me. Not for me, for you. Okay, no. I'm with one also. I'm with an Aries. <laughs> Here we go. You got a page of Pentacles. The other person um, will give you this message of like, this is what I have to offer. This is what I can give you. Oh, it's not much, but I feel like you're going to be true about it because Hierophant is about the truth. Oh, wow. And they're very sincere. You have the temperance. Uh -huh. So they're very sincere about the offer. They want to make it work and they want you to be patient. I feel like you will be. If it's not, then it's going to be a problem. <laughs> With the Hierophant and the um, the temperance, this can be you know a Taurus, of course, and of course a Sag energy. There's going to be a spiritual connection between the two of you over here um, that brings um, abundance into your life with the Ten of Pentacles. Hierophant with the Page of Pentacles, um, I feel that there's something like an offer. Like you probably will receive a note, a letter, a gift. It's because this is something tangible. That will show the energy between the two of you is solid. Okay. Got a Nine of Wands. This is Mars and Capricorn for me. I feel like you've been fighting for this connection. You have been very um, consistent about the the passion that you have shown. It's not about consistency like Eight of Pentacles because that's putting in the work. The Nine of Wands is about you know, making sure that this person understands that, like, hey, I do fancy you. You know that, right? Meaning you tell this person and it's very legit that you have the hearts for them. You didn't, you know, like you, you're not one of those Zodiac that plays games anyway. You're very direct. If I want you, I want you. Mars, basically. If I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Okay, Mars, again. Driven, okay. Raka for your um, husband also. Your dating life over here is very passionate, just letting you know. Nine of Cups, okay, that's good. Closing off the year with a bang, okay, with the Nine of Cups, your wish being granted. Nines for me are K2, okay? So this is about K2, sitting in Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So just do whatever, a seventh house from that one. That's gonna be, um, you know, um, if it's Cancer, it's Capricorn. If it's, let's say Rahu. If it's uh, Scorpio, it's Taurus. If it's Pisces, it's Virgo. That's their Rahu, where their Rahu is sitting, okay? If it's Rahu in Scorpio, that's Exaltation, right? Uh, K2 in Scorpio, if it's here, that's Exaltation. So K2 in Scorpio over here, makes this person feel okay that's the north node side of the moon okay makes this person feel like they find where they belong and they belong into spiritual union and at the same time to helping other people okay now come back okay of course i went to the astrology part of it but that can be you if, even though you don't know your chart 
With the nine of wands in the Hierophant, you didn't give up on the connection. You were in it to win it. I'm here, I'm Mars, and I know what I, I know the truth. The truth is I want to be with this person. This person accepts this energy that you are giving towards them. They may be younger, they may be far from you, they may travel a lot, okay? They may be self-indulgent with the Nine of Cups. They were very much like, I, I like to have fun by myself, but now I'm finding someone that I can spend time with. You have two nines over here, meaning there can be a K2 in fire sign over here. K2 uh, Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. So just do their seventh also, because it's a partnership. If you have this kind of connection, this is your soulmate, because Rahu brings the soulmate. Rahu is karma. Karma is soulmate. So you are in connection with someone, Aries, that can lead to a long and lasting relationship. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't go to the relationship, but it's here. Marriage can be here with the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So thank you very much, Aries, for watching. I hope you didn't get lost because I went deep into the astrology, but we all have to has to have some sort of um, leveling up, okay? But I'm pretty sure you're smart enough. You got it, all right? So I'm going to continue this reading, Aries. Link down there in the description box for everything that you guys need for the extended read. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again next year, 2019. Have a happy new year, Aries. Bye!